How happy are you to be joining The Rocks on a full-time basis? Yeah, no, really happy. It's uh, an incredible opportunity for me as a young coach to be joining a professional franchise and working with uh, a high-caliber player and, and also a high-caliber coach within Tony. So, uh, no, really excited about the opportunity ahead. And how did it come about, your relationship with Tony? Had you worked with him previously? Uh, no, actually, just when I found out Tony was coming into the country again, uh, I linked in with him on LinkedIn, uh, and then I dropped him a message. Uh, I arranged to meet up, and we actually did that around the Rocks Open trial. Um, so I chatted basketball for about an hour with, with Tony before the trial, and then we uh, ran the trial. Uh, and then after that, Tony called me about a week later to sort of offer me the, the position within the Rocks. So it was quite a quick turnaround, you know, from not knowing each other. but. Um, I think Tony had maybe heard from some people in the community about me um, in the past as well. And could you give me an overview of your coaching experience this far? Yeah, so I started off in my local club, Dunfermline Rain Basketball. Uh, that was when I was about 18. I'd sort of picked up a number of injuries as a player, so decided to step onto the coaching pathway. Uh, from there, I've also done a, quite a number of national teams, starting at under 14 level in the sort of early stages. Uh, but then more recently, under 16 and under 18 women have been head coach of uh, with the Scotland squad and then just this previous season I moved from my local club to Caledonia Pride, the women's franchise across in Edinburgh. Uh, I was with them as an assistant coach underneath Bart Sengers uh, and I also coached with the Scotland senior women out in Malaysia and Thailand this summer as an assistant coach for them. And you said that working with this calibre of player is something you're looking forward to. Do you feel that that itself will improve you as a coach? Yeah, no, without a doubt, you know, that the further up the pathway you go and um, just the game being slightly quicker, uh, it's definitely going to improve me as a coach and I'm going to have to be sharper on the technical details to, to make sure I pick them up the best I can uh, within every single practice, you know, and working with really high quality players, it's going to have to definitely make me step my game up, which I'm really excited to do. And what is your remit as assistant? Have you been brought in for one specific area, as, a, as in recruitment or analysis? Um, no, no specific area, you know, your job as an assistant is to get stuck in uh, first and foremost without a doubt, um, just spend the hours, you know, I'm, I'm used to the fact that you're going to have to spend some long days, you know, once the season kicks in there's going to be some of those 16 hour days, 7 days a week, um, the sort of grind of the season, you know, the stuff that I love. Uh, the key focus, however, is always going to be video analysis and breaking down both our game tapes and the opponent's game tapes for scouting reports ahead, but also looking at things that we need to improve for the season going forward. And from your discussions with Tony, do you feel that you share a similar um, tactical outlook on the game? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, we've had some conversations and, and I think we share the same philosophies on the foremost. That obviously, there's always going to be small differences and uh, Tony's really welcome to those challenges uh, and try and put them forward for me and that's kind of my job is to challenge and check and challenge with Tony. But on the whole, we definitely share a similar philosophy in the game. And what have, what have you been up to so far in your first couple of weeks in the job? Uh, first week for me was just really trying to get in and get settled. Um, I'm in the process of moving through to Glasgow, so getting that done. Um, but also just trying to look at video from last year and really try and break that down and sort of analyse how we played last year, um, as well as get a feel for some of the other teams in the BBL. Naturally, there's going to be some new personnel come in um, that we'll have to still look, but just been trying to get a feel for the BBL league and, and learn a lot more about that, um, as well as get settled in with the organisation, so some meetings with Dan and trying to get an overview of everything that goes on within the organisation. And Tony will of course be going to the Commonwealth Games of Scotland, um, do you feel that you're ready to step up when you'll be in charge for a couple of games? Yeah, no, uh, previous experience at European Championships with the Scotland squads uh, will definitely prepare me. I've been a head coach the majority of my coaching career, um, so it will be a challenge. I'm not I'm not going to lie about that, but I'm excited about that challenge, and I feel come come that time, once I've been embedded in this programme for a while and I start to understand exactly how things are going down with, with Tony's philosophy and how he's got that offensively, plus build those player relationships over that time, uh, I'll definitely be ready to step up come those games for sure.